Roland Anaki here with another Destiny 2 Shadow Keep video, and this is the first mission in Shadow Keep, the first campaign mission, a mysterious disturbance. Now, before I set it up, uh, I am pulling over weapons uh, from my established characters that have already leveled up to over 900. And that'll bounce me up here from like 789 to 834. As you can see, my light level is going up. Now, I did run the intro uh, with a new character on Earth on the Cosmodrome and went from 757 uh, up to, um, I think, 780-something, which was what we were there, 787. And I was running the, uh, the initial mission plus uh, going to Earth and running the initial Welcome to EDZ quest or whatever it's called. So that's how I got myself boosted from 757 to 787. And now I'm boosting myself up to 834 just using weapons from my other characters. I'm also bringing over a, a nicer sparrow and a nicer ship that I have in my inventory. It's what I'm looking for now, by the way. Oh, and the Eris Morin shell. That's really helpful, not only on the moon, but uh, uh, anywhere through the solar system, because it will highlight uh, chests for you. Okay, I think we're about ready to go here. Now, when I run this first mission with a, with a brand new character, I didn't get the... I didn't get the uh, Ikora monologue. So what I did is I went ahead and spliced it in here. So that's what we'll see first as we uh, launch to the moon. And by the way, uh, we're not going to land anywhere near a vendor or Eris. We're going straight into the campaign at this point. Now, I thought this, uh, this little bit here with Ikora is pretty neat. Sort of explains what is happening. To some point. So if you're an established character and you're coming in to Shadow Keep for the first time, you will see that followed by this cutscene.
Okay, here we go. After a lengthy black screen, of course. Attention all guardians. Last night we detected a seismic disturbance on the moon. Within hours it was swarming with ice. This plague must not be allowed to spread. You can see there are guardians up ahead. The, the first two areas here are public, so the more guardians we got here, the quicker they'll go. Okay, Zavala. Okay, there's plenty of heavy ammo here. So these guys are actually taking a good chance, taking a good care of taking out the enemies. Yeah, notice uh, over there on the left side of the screen, you see Hive defeated. We were already at like 40% when we got here, so... The Hive appear to be retreating. Commander, All right, that's, that's our signal to move ahead. Scattered. Now, Commander Zavala said something about the seismic disturbance. Well, what that's done is opened up a lot of crevices on the moon, so when we're traveling around after this mission, one has to be really careful not to not to not to run the sparrow into a crevice or a crevice. It'll be apparent uh, a couple of missions in. Oh, good. Never turn down an orb when you see one. All right. There's I think six of these ta little tower things that we have to deactivate. We have to deactivate to be able to get that big uh, shrieker in the middle. We're not quite sure. I think I just got a phone call at that point. <laughs> we're not quite sure what was going on there. Right, we will have knights dropping these uh, these uh, Swords. There's a there's a crevice, by the way. Okay, so you stand inside of the uh, the circle here and avoid getting drilled, and uh, you'll capture it and shut it down. Okay, that guy is shut down. And what we got here? We're about halfway there, so we got three more of these things to shut down. And it looks like uh, maybe one one or two other guardians that I am in the public area with know what they're doing, the others don't. All right, so now I'm looking for the other, the other little tower things. I got a waypoint showing me one over here on the right. And it doesn't look like there's a guardian going for it, so I'll go ahead and capture that one, deactivate it. By the way, I am, my, I am running my hunger as an arch strider. Got to point that out. My kinetic weapon is the out, outbreak perfected, which is really great PVE. And uh, my energy weapon is the uh, Black Scorpion 4SR. Ooh, look, helium cores. Scout rifle. It's got Dragonfly, which is an art version of uh, Firefly. I think we're done. Oh, let's see, we got one more? Yeah, there's one more to go. It looks like, uh, okay. My guardian buddies here are picking, picking up on the queue of what to do. Okay, now we got a blaster shrieker. And my power weapon, of course, is my hammerhead. My hammerhead machine gun. Fully mastered. My 
my scout rifle is fully mastered as well. The portal is down for me. It also is fully automatic, which is nice. Okay, that's right. Off we go. Now, from this point on, I caught it. These things are all blinking at me. From this point on, we're on our own. This is this is where the uh, where my guardian buck, uh, buddies kind of disappear. All right, got rid of all the blinking stuff. We'll find her alive. Because, as I said before, there are a lot of crevices that opened up. Uh, you know, this is not your daddy's book, for sure. So just make small movements with the tank, which is what I'm doing. This is not difficult to do. And every once in a while, I'll just run over a couple of them. By the way, the left, my left button is what I'm using for those targeted uh, projectiles. All right, there's another one over here, another shrieker, and I think I need to take out. We need to take out the hives that are surrounding it before it'll open up. Oh, there we go. It doesn't take much to take the shrieker out. That's it for the shrieker. Now this is pretty simple. There's, okay, there's another shrieker over here. Until we get towards the end here, the last one, that's when the exploders come out. You gotta be a little bit careful. There's those individual projectiles that target the hive. Oh, there's an exploder. So you get the idea here. Yeah, let's go run over a few more. Just a little bit of a maybe a frame loss or a little bit of hesitation on a very slight free screen. I'm not really sure whether it's my capture device, which is a Avermedia Live Portable Ultra, which which is the HDR one, or it's or it's just a game. I don't know. But every once in a while, I'll see that a little 
little flash. I know that there's, there's issues in the game. I see, I see uh, freeze frames and uh, a little staggering a bit in the game. That thing on the left there is, uh, is an explosive. All right, so we've taken care of everything. The way is clear, and in we go. Now we got to go find Eris. She found evidence of something very old on the moon. Okay. A potential threat to humanity. Eris insisted on going alone. Just okay, if I get a little piece of armor there, I might as well. Use it. You notice how far up I am. Uh, there is quite a jump in, in light level when you pick up uh, armor and weapons. Now, it doesn't help me weapons wise on this character because I've already leveled the weapons way up. Like I said, up over 900. But every, generally, every piece of armor I get is going to help me level up. Alright, it, it's going to be a little crowded in here. This doesn't help me because I have claustrophobia. Now, see, there's that little freeze. And again, I don't know whether it's my, you know, my uh, capture device or, or the game. I've noticed a little bit of lag in the game. I don't know if that's an example of lag. And I shouldn't because I've got a really good internet connection. Alright. Those little orange balls are things dropped by nightmares. Um, acolytes and uh, other minor characters, minor hide, are not too difficult to take out. Let's see if there's another one that's they're, they're yellow bars, but they're not too difficult to take out. It's the bosses of the campaign. And this won't be apparent until we get a little bit further into the campaign. Alright, notice the blue there. As I mentioned in my uh, new guy video, that is Glimmer. And that's how, along with other stuff, you, you can pick up Glimmer by taking out taking out bad guys. Like there, there's, there's a piece, there's a piece. There, there no longer is a hundred thousand cap on Glimmer. You can get as much as you want, as far as I know. I think the highest I got was over two hundred thousand. Also, as you progress through the game, through the campaign, um, there's another leveling that's going on. It's very similar to. Uh, to the original Destiny, and you, you reach certain levels after 100,000 XP's, I believe. And when, when you reach that level, there's a nightmare, by the way. When you reach that level, you, you, you'll get a one or two goodies. It's, it's in your... Uh, They're not actually high. Their energy signature is entirely unfamiliar. If you if you press your left uh, your left little button and bring up the uh, bring up your uh, you know destinations and maps and stuff all the way on the right side there's a thing called seasons and when you when you get past a certain level the certain seasons will start blinking. Should be right around here. Very similar to uh, what is to some of the progress you made in the original Destiny 2 when you got goodies with uh, what's her name in the tower. There is a big nightmare. I think it's going to be the nightmare of Crota. Maybe. Maybe. Across the way. What is that? All right, our goal here is to just survive. You can put bullets into Crota. 
not going to take him out. But there's going to be several waves of ads. Oh, here it comes. Okay, there's another flag. Jeez. But we killed him. Yeah, let's try to shoot. Now see what happens, he just turned right there. He is now immune. And what we'll find out again later in the game is that uh, the bosses that we have to go after to do that, they'll get, become immune, and you have to take out the various nightmares uh, that surround them, you know, the nightmare ads that surround them, to drop the, the, the invulnerability, if you will. You see, Crota can be fired on now. Here I'm just running around like crazy. Sorry, there's another little lagging spot. Oh, nice jump. Yeah, I try to do these walkthroughs without dying, so I, unfortunately, unlike other games like Halo, if you die and you go back to orbit, Come back in, you'll go right to the checkpoint and won't start over. Okay, you just went wrong again. And I think I got one more wave that I gotta deal with. And this wave will have exploded then. I never did get an opportunity, as far as I can tell, in, in this run, of actually using my finisher, which is a new uh, capability the Guardians have, which is pretty neat. I don't know if you noticed that right there, that guy had a, like a little white circle, and if, you, if you're up fairly close to him and hit your right, push down on your right thumbstick, at least it's mine anyway. Um, It'll, it'll uh, activate. There we go. Yes, I did have it. That's the finisher. Pushing down the right thumbstick when they've got that little circle over their head will activate the finisher sequence. And you can actually get a, uh, a triumph for that. Do a hundred. Whoa! Exploded. Do a hundred of those and you get a triumph. Now, again, I am running for my life here. I'm just trying to stay alive. Taking out as many ads as I can. That's what I'm not even really. Well, I am kind of focusing, but I'm not really going after Proto 2. I think we're getting close to the end here. There's more glimmer. Alright, he just went down. That is my signal to tell me that uh, we're almost done. Uh, the other nightmares are going to appear. I'm just running around trying to pick up Glimmer. And the key definitely here is to stay alive. You're still going to have ads coming. A lot of ads coming after you. We have to go now. So just stay alive. And there's good old Harris. Okay, so it looks like we survived a mysterious disturbance. And now we get to meet Eris. Eris is one. So we just got another cutscene here. That You've heard I think when this mission finishes, we will be set back to uh, a place called uh, Sanctuary. I think. Before us lies and then I'll take you to orbit. Of their existence. And uh, that'll be that. Was it struck down by the traveler? 
Left here on purpose, the truth is ours to discover. Discover how? We find a way inside. Okay, that's basically the end of the mission. Oh, look, more goodies. I'm going through the first mission, and I've gone from 757 up to 872, with the help of some good weapons, of course. Yeah, this is Sanctuary right here. Notice that Ares Morn's got a, uh, she's over there across the way, and she's got a little, uh, little thingy bob above her. And that'll be the next mission, which will be Shadow Keep. Anyway, as we go back to orbit, I hope this helps you. Uh, for those that have not done the first mission yet, hope you enjoyed it. This is Old Anaki, signing off. Take care, everybody.